This video is sponsored by Current. Stick around to the end to find out how you could win $500. Hey guys, we're going to the third installment of Instagram Buy Try, where first I buy, and then, well, I don't know, actually. I haven't thought about it yet. I know I've done this a couple times this year already, but these are some of my favorite videos to make because I get so many weird ads. An egg toilet? A fire escape? A literal car? At least it's more interesting than what I get on Twitter. Like, ketchup. It's hard to know exactly what's happening here. Am I clicking on the ads because they're so weird, or am I only getting these ads because I keep clicking on them? It's a real chicken or the egg toilet conundrum. But let's not waste any more time here. I've got all sorts of products to choose from. There's a few things that you guys sent me. There's some stuff that I just wanted to try myself. And then there's a few that are just confusing, like this. This is like gamer tape? What does it do? Okay, so they've got a whole section on the science of it. Uh, man, that's a lot of words. Minor cannabinoids? Are my hands gonna get high? I hope my mom doesn't find out. Okay, so it's basically CBD infused tape, which is not that crazy. I've used CBD lotion before. I guess I just wish this company was a little bit more popular as it is. I kind of feel like I'm gonna be the one testing it for them. They have a YouTube channel. Their most recent video is in all caps. We need to be better. So that's concerning. If hair is impeding adherence of the tape, either trim or shave the area. Hair in the way? <laughs> then shave your entire body. Well, I gotta try this out. Not to brag or anything, but I'm a bit of a pro gamer. Or actually, I was thinking of Ninja. He's a pro game. I've been stuck at the same rank on Rocket League for the past six years with no signs of improvement whatsoever. So maybe the secret has just been to put tape all over my hands. Up next, we've got something from Hug Sleep. This is extraordinary on Shark Tank. What really soothing. I love that shot. I've never been more comfortable in my life. We're not getting a lot of hugs. This really is something that hugs you back. Interesting marketing tactic. They're really exploiting all of the loneliness that has built up in people over the past two years. And you can even put your feet out, at which point all you've done is wrap a regular blanket around you. Oh no. It's called the sleep pod. I'm getting flashbacks. You can wear it to bed. You can wear it to read. You can even wear it as a dress. You bet your ass I'll be hitting the club in one of these. Five stars. Late for work again. <laughs> well, I lost my job this week. Um, so these things are perfect. I had to order more. I originally bought one to wear at night so brown recluses can't bite me. Oh my God. It's weird that protection from spiders isn't listed anywhere on the website, but I'm glad to know that that's a bonus. Can't wait to try. But the thing is like, I don't wanna wear this in my bed. I want something that I can lay on or sit on or recline in. Not bad. And I just saw the perfect thing, the bean bed. Well, actually, I didn't technically get an ad for it. Um, I saw this tweet, someone talking about it, and then another tweet of someone linking to it. Remember being a kid and the feeling you'd get when you jump into a giant bean bag? Our bean bed is that, but so much more. Only using the softest fabric for the exterior, and all orders come included with beans. Uh-oh. I'm getting hungry. Are the beans included? How much does the sleeve weigh? Yeah, this is looking a lot less legit the more I scroll down. So they don't come pre-filled. You have to pack it yourself. Our patented bean technology means anyone can use our beds. Weight limit? Absolutely not. Thanks to our patented XL bean technology, they sure do have a lot of patents. It's also suspiciously cheap. It's supposed to be bigger than my love seat back there and it's only $70. Also, these pictures are all kind of blurry. I'm kind of having second thoughts, but I'll buy it anyway, because that's what this video is. So far, I've bought at least one article of clothing in uh, all of these videos, and today I will be continuing that by actually buying two. As a kid, Ben hated dress shirts. As an adult, he despised them for one simple reason. They suck. Damn it, I laughed at an ad. And collar. The comfortable super shirt that looks super cool. All right, well, I wouldn't say I'm exactly in the market for dress shirts. I only share this office with one other coworker, and it's my cat. The thing is, like, she never wears clothes at all. But now I have to dress up? That's not fair. Really, the only reason I'm getting this is because I'm fascinated by this stain repellent technology. It just repels so much. I have to put this to the test. I have to destroy this shirt. Clearly at this point, I had alerted the almighty algorithm that I've been interested in expanding my wardrobe because I've been getting this ad for months. 
shoes that have laces, but the laces don't matter because they just pop onto your foot. I am in love. I need this more than I needed that shirt, which actually isn't saying much because I did not need that shirt. The truth is I actually tried to buy some of these a couple months ago, but the kind I wanted didn't go up to my size. So I sent them an email asking them if it ever would. And they replied very enthusiastically, oh my God, uh, thank you so much. But no. So I got these ones instead, and now I just hope that they work like they're supposed to. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pissed. So this next thing, um, I'm not gonna buy this because that would involve going down too much of a rabbit hole. You'll see why. They're called NeuroBuds, and on the surface, they just seem like regular old earbuds, right? So-so isn't enough because you love music. And now you can finally listen to it. But then they said this. No other earbuds sound like this. No other earbuds are priced like this. Get NeuroBuds for $5 a month. $5? A month? So am I subscribing to earbuds? Well, let's go to the website. Apparently, there is no way to just buy these. You have to sign up for something called Neura Now, which again, just says $5 a month. You know, there's obviously more to it than that. I still have a hundred questions. Uh, let's go ahead and read more about it. Oh. That's it? It seems like there should be more information, right? That's not just me? I feel like I'd be going in way too blind here, so I went ahead and parsed through the terms and conditions. So it's not a rent to own program, like some other things. It doesn't matter how much money you give them, the earbuds will never be yours. In theory, you could give them five bucks a month for the next 10 years, well over a thousand dollars, and you still wouldn't own the headphones. So obviously the first thing I thought, and you probably thought this too, was, well, what if I don't give them back? What if I cancel the subscription as soon as they arrive? What are they gonna do, hunt me down? Uh, they'll remotely deactivate them and they'll keep billing you and they might take legal action. All of which you've agreed to by signing up. If they get stolen, you have to send them an official police report to get new ones, which will probably be refurbished. If you break them, you have to pay them $20 to get new ones, which makes me think, are these only worth $20? Am I paying the full price of these every four months in perpetuity and I still don't own them? You love music. The only way doing it like this makes sense is if you wanna try them out first, low risk, right? You rent them for a couple months, you don't like them, you send them back at your own expense. But if you do like them, since this is the only way to buy it, you just have to keep paying for it forever. I feel like I'm going crazy because I've never seen a subscription model like this with a device. Yeah, a lot of stores will give you the option to split up a big purchase into multiple payments so you can pay it off, but like you wouldn't rent a TV. You wouldn't download a car. Maybe I'm wrong about this. I don't know. I didn't try it out myself. If any of you guys have experience with this, let me know, because I'm curious. Nura has a good reputation, but there are some really bad reviews for this specific service, so I don't know what to think. But anyway, let's go ahead and speed through these last two. Um, I saw an ad for this sweatshirt and immediately knew I was gonna buy it for Amanda. She loves the library. But of course, if it's a present, now I have to worry about wrapping it. Luckily, I just saw this ad by Sweetie Top Hot which is definitely the title of a porn video, for a scissors emoji, Christmas gift, wrapping paper, buy more, save more, fairy emoji, fairy emoji. This shit's been on my wish list for years. All right, well, I've got everything ordered. Now all I gotta do is wait for it all to get here, which I'm sure it will. About that. Uh, so this wrapping paper thing, um, I bought it on November 12th. It has since gone from China to the United States where it's been sort of just roaming around for the past three weeks without any updates. I don't think I'm gonna get that. <laughs> Luckily I've narrowed it down to being somewhere in the country, so I'll find it. And the bean bed? Um, how do I put this? This product is not real. The bean bed is fake and I've been scammed. Again. So what happened here? Well, apparently there was a furniture designer in 2011 who came up with the idea for this bed, which I'm starting to realize now is just a big blanket on top of a couch. Little did she know that 10 years later, someone would find this unfortunately thorough photo shoot and use it to create a fake website with a fake product that can only be bought using real money including mine. Luckily, their refund policy states that I can get my money back 
as soon as I return the bean bed, which is gonna be hard to do on account of it not existing. So who's responsible for this? Well, mostly it's my fault. When I make these videos, I tend to ignore all the red flags because it's more fun that way. I also tend to rush through the purchasing process because I want the products to arrive as soon as possible so I can make the video. Had I done perhaps one second of research, I would have noticed that there was a single Twitter account in particular who was telling everyone on that post where they can buy the bean bed. No fucking way is right. Had I done two seconds of research, I would have noticed that nearly every single one of her 200 tweets is a link to the bean bag. Totally normal behavior for someone not financially benefiting from this, wouldn't you say, Alyssa? If that is your real name. Actually, it might be. I, I think her account was hacked. Before disappearing for a month, her most recent tweet borrows the same format as the original one we saw. Where can I get this? Only to link people to yet another fictional product. When I realized what happened, I cried for three days, and then I reported the Twitter account, and now I just hope somehow this website gets taken down? Cause I saw a few other people uh, on the post say that they also tried to buy one. To be clear, yes, we should have known better, but it's a pretty convincing website at first glance. Just let this serve as a reminder to you to always be careful what you buy online because you might just end up with nothing. Or worse, a moon pod. Now let's go review all the other shit I bought. Since my fairy emoji paper cutter never showed up, I was forced to wrap this present the old fashioned way. In other words, it was a complete disaster. Everything the website warned me about was coming true. The cutter comes out so jagged that it looks like there was an earthquake happening while I was cutting it. My scissors kept breaking, I got tape all over me. In total, it took me about three hours and 15 tries just to cut the paper to the right length. This truly is both outdated and frustrating. When I was finally done, I nervously brought it over to my wife who was so disgusted, so utterly repulsed at my piss poor rapping attempt that she instantly left the house and filed for a divorce. Ever since then, I've been spiraling out. My life is falling apart. Let's try to stain this shirt. I forgot I bought two of them. Warning, keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Do not use this bag in crib. But this is my son's favorite toy. Wow. It's a shirt. What do they do on TikTok? <laughs> Something like that. I mean, I think it fits pretty good. It's nice and stretchy. It's hard to show that on camera, but just trust me, okay? You can stretch it a little bit. All right, but let's cut the crap. What you guys really came for were the stain tests. Oh man, I'm so thirsty and weak. I don't think I can make it to my mouth. Damn. That's kind of crazy. I'm making more of a mess in my tub than I am in my shirt. Has seen this shit? Okay, I passed the Powerade check, but now I'm feeling kind of naughty. I think I accidentally spiked my coffee with alcohol? Oh, shit, where's my mouth? What the hell, man? I didn't really care that much about the science for those CBD strips. I'm way more curious about the science of this shirt. I guess it's just not like a traditional fabric. I don't, it probably doesn't have any cotton in it. I think if it was a more comfortable shirt, it would be impossible to just repel liquids like this, but color me impressed because there's a lot of colors on the floor. That would work better if there were stains on my shirt because then you could see the colors. Right now I'm just standing in a sticky pile of liquid. The only thing left to try now is I saw a video on their Instagram of someone pouring water in the shirt pocket and then drinking it out of there. So, bottoms up. You guys can't see it, but there's a little puddle of water in my pocket. This is brilliant. I could wear this to a movie theater and sneak my own drink in. Yeah, let me just... This is so weird. It doesn't get wet. I should be impressed, but I'm kind of just freaked out. I guess I do have to wonder, like, how do you wash the shirt, though, if it doesn't absorb water? Isn't it just kind of going to repel? all the water in the washing machine. This is what a washing machine looks like. Okay, I'm impressed. Somehow none of this got on my shirt. That's actually pretty insane. Finally, the easiest shoes I'll ever put on. No tying, no pulling, no heel crushing, no hands. But what about feet? I still have to use my feet, right? You're not gonna take that from me, are you? All right. What do you think? Ah. 
The first thing the box says is no time, and yet here I am, tying. They kind of work. I mean, I like the way they look. They feel like decent shoes. They're actually pretty soft on the inside. I'm impressed with all of the standard shoe properties that these shoes have, but I mostly bought them for the unique thing that was advertised, which is being able to just step into them. Let me try that again. Uh, <laughs> okay, that one went pretty well. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'll have to take these on and off for a few days, wear them out on the town, uh, before I really give can give my true opinion on them. Hi, Bimbo. She wants to be on camera so bad. Right, let me try popping them on again. Okay. I think the more you do it, the easier it gets. So I always tend to lean negative in these videos because I know if I say something nice, people are gonna assume I'm secretly sponsored by the company. And it's like, Sometimes I just like stuff. Not everything is an ad. I've been wearing these shoes for a couple weeks and honestly, I think they're great. They fit good, they're comfortable. I love that you can just pop them on. I mean, it's such an insignificant thing, but you know, it's the little things in life. I would say the biggest negative is just that they're overpriced. They're kind of just like regular Vans, um, except you're spending twice as much because of the convenience, which to me is worth it as long as I can get a couple years out of them. Cause then it's like, that's a lot of convenience. In general, shoes have one of the highest price ranges of any product. You can find pretty decent ones for $20, or if you'd rather, you can spend $20,000. Most of the time, they still accomplish the same task. But the important thing is, my Instagram outfit is finally finished. Shirt, pants, shoes, and belt, this is the official wardrobe of sponsored Instagram posts. This outfit was personally designed by none other than Mark Zuckerberg himself, and ever since doing so, he's carefully planted each element as its own individual advertisement to be dispersed at rent. And now, just like Ariel's underwater cave of garbage, my collection's complete. Also, I look like shit. Well, I'm just excited to take my gaming to the next level. So I ordered a thick roll of tape and a thin one, one for my like wrists and forearms and then one for my little fingies. What the fuck is this? Did I open the wrong thing? They sent me Superpower Fortifying Hair and Scalp Serum? This isn't my tape. Superpower Serum helps strengthen your follicles, promote growth, and provides all round protection so that you and your hair feel ready to save the world every single day. This isn't what I bought. <laughs> I gotta figure out what the fuck is happening. I just wanted to check my tracking number that they sent me. This is the package, but this is what I got two scalp serums. Originally, I ordered one eight foot roll standard and one eight foot roll slim. These are both $20 each, so I spent 40 bucks on both of these. This scalp spray is apparently worth $47, and I got two of them. So when you think about it, I actually turned a profit here. What the hell is going on? I feel like I'm cursed. I feel like I've accidentally uncovered some sort of money laundering scheme or like some underground drug ring, except instead of cocaine, they're sending people hair juice. I'm just so confused. I did everything right and this video is falling apart before my eyes. I had one chance left to redeem what had quickly turned into my most disastrous video to date. Its name? The sleep pod. This is great. After everything that's transpired, I could definitely use some sleep, and I could also use a uh hug. -huh. So let's see if this will provide both. Wow. Remember when you were a kid and you would have field day and you would do like the sack races? That's what this is. But you sleep in. It's really soothing. Wouldn't you know it, I just had the best sleep of my life. Thanks, hug sleep pod. Is it stylish? Yes. Is it comfortable? Yes. Is it exactly the same thing as a regular blanket that you could just roll around in? Yes. Is it hugging me back? No. Is it changing my life? No. Is it worth $80?
No. So what did we learn today? I learned that I look really great in a gray evening gown. I learned that there is roughly a 50% success rate when it comes to random online purchases. I think I've also learned that the more I engage with sponsored posts on Instagram, the more I buy things from there, the worse the ads start to get. Now, they're literally just giving me ads for anything. A little keyboard brush from Smart Home EI. Sure, he'll buy that shit. This guy buys anything, he's such an idiot. And you know what? Maybe I am an idiot. But at least I look cool as hell. And now a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Current, who gave me $5,000 to give away to whoever I wanted. And I just thought of the perfect prank. What if instead I just take that money and donate it to relief funds for the tornadoes that just went through the Midwest a couple weeks ago. I could even match it myself to make it $10,000. They'd be so confused. Well, it turns out they actually liked that idea, so. I don't think they felt very pranked. But then they gave me another $5,000 to give away to you guys. All you have to do to enter is download the current app using my link in the description with my code DREWHOLIDAY and 10 people will be randomly chosen to win $500 each. It's free to sign up, so don't even think about no. You can read more about them at Current.com, like how when you sign up for direct deposit, you can get your paycheck up to two days faster. And how they've got over 40,000 ATMs all over the United States with no fees to withdraw money. And how the debit card looks cool as hell. But if you do download it, just make sure to use the link in the description so they know how you got there, and use my code DREWHOLIDAY, which is also the name of my alter ego from a low-budget Christmas movie. Thank you to Current for sponsoring today's video and giving back to all of my fans. Because I was never going to do it. Hey, guess what? just got here my wrapping paper cutter i got it christmas is over though so guess i'll use it next year thanks for watching bye